OCD, written by Q. Yen Tran. Interior, Gwen's bathroom, night, Santa Clarita. A couple, Victor, slight build, Brooklyn accent, mid-twenties, and Gwen, Asian, mid-twenties, sit across from each other in a bathtub smoking a joint. They pass it back and forth without saying much. There is a tension. So how are you paying for all this? For what? Your apartment, CalArts. Gwen looks uncomfortable. Your parents? Loans. Loans. Like financial aid from school. Do you have to pay it back? I have a small scholarship, but the rest I have to pay back. That's what a loan is. How do you pay for everything? Victor is slightly embarrassed. I worked for a year after graduating college. Doing what? Okay, mostly my parents. Lucky. Your parents are lucky too. My parents work really hard for their success. My dad never takes a vacation. He hasn't taken a vacation in years. I thought you said he and your mom were vacationing in China right now. Well, he used to never take vacations, but he's older now and taking it a little easier. She <laughs> nods as though to say, yeah, sure. What do your parents do? My mom doesn't work, and my dad's a crane operator. She doesn't seem proud, but embarrassed. Does he make enough? What do you mean? Does your dad make enough to pay for everything? Yeah, I think so. It's now really uncomfortable, and some silence passes. Come here. He gestures for her to come towards him, but realizes the faucet is right next to him. Never mind, I'll come to you. After some struggling, he gets to her side and holds her in his arms. They gently caress each other, but Gwen still looks troubled. Baby, what's wrong? She seems lost in thought. I don't know. Maybe it's the weed. They are quiet for a moment. He starts to finger her, then stops. What's this? He runs a finger over a bump a few inches above her vagina. I don't know. A pimple? They are quiet for a moment. Things are more tense than ever. Turn around. Look at me. She turns around. He takes her hands. They look at each other. Both start to cry. Why are we crying? I don't know. Why are you crying? I don't know. I just, I just feel sad. They both chuckle. I feel like... This is the last time. What do you mean? I can't explain it. Like, I'll look back on this moment in, in the future and miss this. Like, I'll already miss it. And it's not even over yet. What do you mean, mean over yet? I don't know. They cry some more in each other's arms. <laughs> Maybe it's the weed. We're we'll never smoking again. Huh. Interior Gwen's room, night, Santa Clarita. Gwen and Victor dry off and get dressed. She pulls him towards her. Stay the night with me, please. Can't. I promised myself I'd get some work done tomorrow. Don't go. Please. I need you here. Don't leave me here alone. My work is important, Gwen. Please understand that. You said yesterday that we were going to the beach this weekend. Sunday. Couples spend Saturdays together. You're always busy on Saturdays. Saturday is like prime couple time, and you're always, quote, working. Okay. We'll go tomorrow. Yes. She hugs him. See the things I do for you? She gives him a kiss. Thank you. I love you. You're the love of my life, Gwen. Saying this, he grabs her arms. Do you understand that? She looks at him like she doesn't understand or believe. He takes her face in his hands and looks into her eyes. You're the love of my life. They kiss. I really do have to go. What? If I go to sleep now, I can wake up early and get some work done in the morning before we go. You can sleep here. You know exactly what's going to happen if I stay here. <laughs> and all my work is at home anyway. Okay, fine. Kisses him. Bye. Bye. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I'll call you. And ask Liza if she wants to come to the beach with us. What? Why do you always want my roommate to come to the beach with us? Uh, I don't know. I thought it would be fun to go as a group. You want to fuck her, don't you? Pushes him away. This is the second time you've told me to invite her to the beach. You just want to see her in a bathing suit. Gwen, you're being ridiculous. No, you are! I just thought it would be cool to go to the beach in a group. Then why don't you invite your roommates? Yael and Zach? Yeah? I don't know. Okay, look. Let's just go you and me, okay? No. What do you mean, no? I can't do this anymore. What? He's incredulous. What, what do you mean you can't do this anymore? I mean, it's over. I can't do this anymore. I can't be with you anymore. What are you talking about? Just a minute ago we were talking about going to the beach, and now we're going to the beach. 
You, you want to break up with me because I wanted to invite your roommate and, and she's not even going anymore? The point is that you're always interested in other girls. I asked if you wanted to invite your roommate. If you don't want her to come, then just say that. You're blowing this way out of proportion. You're always interested in other girls. Like when we went camping and you wanted to fuck Pamela. How did I want to fuck Pamela? I don't know. She's skinny and pretty like my roommate. That's your type. You're so paranoid. It's just the weed talking. No, it's not the weed! When we went camping, you wanted to fuck Pamela. And how do you come to that conclusion? I can just tell. She was wearing those booty shorts with her ass hanging out, and you were alone with her in the car for a really long time. Yeah, she was crying because Rajesh was a dick to her. You're, you're the one who was a, as a thing for Rajesh. You should be the one to talk. He's my friend. Your friend, okay. A at least I don't spend hours hanging out with Pamela alone, which is what you do with Rajesh. Stop changing the subject, okay? After comforting Pamela in the car, do you remember what you said to me the next day? No, I, I don't. <laughs> you said, there's nothing more beautiful than a woman crying. Who the fuck says that? You know what? Just get out! I can't deal with this anymore. Just go! Beat. <clears throat> okay. He starts to leave. Wait. What is it? She starts to cry. I'm just so sad. Why? This was your idea. Don't you think I wanted it to work? That this hurts me too? This is hard. The thing is, I, I just can't be with you. Because, because you make me miserable and angry. Okay. I'm gonna go. No, no, don't go. She holds on to him. Let me go, Gwen. He pulls her and walks out. The front door slams. Gwen throws herself on the bed and starts to cry. Interior, gynecologist's office day. Gwen is sitting on the patient's chair, talking to Dr. Navid. Okay, so your last pap was negative, which is good. That was six months ago, so we're going to do another one. Uh, you said you got the leap surgery when? Uh, I was a sophomore in college. I started college in 2008, so it was 2009 or 2010. So three years ago? Yeah, he does the pap smear. All right, so that's it. I'll give you a call in a few days with the results. I'm sure it'll be fine. Don't worry. He comfortingly pats her hand. Okay. Gwen smiles. Okay. Thanks, uh, Dr. Navid. Oh, anytime. He gets up to leave after giving her a pat on the shoulder. Chin up, okay? Uh, wait, Dr. Navid, can I ask you something? That's what I'm here for. So the abnormal cells in my cervix were from HPV, right? Right. 